G'day viewers, welcome back to the mountain and welcome to a new video series. I'm pretty excited about getting into this project as it is something I've been working toward for a while now, at least a couple of years at least. Decided the time is right to have another go at building an off-grid cabin, which I'll be using as a heated winter residence and also a studio for working on creative projects in the future. Some of you who have been following the channel for a while will remember I initially planned to go ahead with the cabin build around 18 months ago. We had a spot picked out and were working on foundations. However, the project was interrupted by the devastating statewide bushfires that lasted about 12 months for us in our region. I ended up evacuating due to the smoke and the fire danger. A large fire front ended up coming within a couple of kilometres of our place and destroyed a lot of property in the area. All things considered though, I was very lucky to be able to return to the property a few months later and have the place still standing there. When I returned to the mountain it made me rethink different aspects of the build, primarily the location of the cabin. It became apparent that secure and weatherproof access was required if another sudden evacuation would be necessary in the future. After choosing a new location, it was evident that I had a lot more space to take advantage of as well. So we ended up making some alterations to the original plan of a roundhouse and changing it to something a little more traditionally cabin shaped. Although the new location affords better all weather access, there is a lot of work to be done preparing the area there is an opportunity to produce a magnificent view of the lower valley if we landscape some of the surrounding bush and spend time clearing the undergrowth and getting rid of the noxious weeds that have taken over so we can clearly see through the native trees and down into the valley. Rightio. So we've been going for about a bit over half a day now. Clearing out all the lantana, brambles and um, shrubs and saplings and stuff opening up the bottom layer it's looking pretty good it's getting nice and tidy now it's going to be a good little regenerative project some nice features down here that'll be good when we're landscaping it some nice big stumps and habitat. Great little features opened up between these trees, really nice. It's going to be good. The bottom layer is going to be replanted with native ferns and um, some flowering shrubs, banksias, acacias, other things like that. My favourite tree. Nice big blue gum. And we've reached through to the other side, the road that goes across. Old man's getting treaded alive down in the lantana. How's it going down there? G'day mate. G'day viewers. <laughs> g'day, g'day. Looks yeah, pretty... Yeah, I'm uh, enjoying the delights of the Australian bush. It looks like it. it looks very inviting down there. The chainsaw's handy. Yep. To fight the leeches and ticks off. That's right, they're pretty tough. I tried to cut one and a half with this, but it stalled the chain. Yep. Leeches are just made out of tyre rubber, apparently. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. I reckon our forebears did this without power tools. That's right, we like to keep that in mind when we're starting to complain to each other. But, um, come along pretty good. We'll keep going with it.
Okay viewers, just so you have a bit more of a visual idea of what's going on in the next part of the video, I thought I would have a look at some of the rough plans the old man and I have put together for the house. The overall design will use elements from the roundhouse plan, which was originally going to be a circular wood hinge that utilised a round post frame and reciprocal roof design. In order to allow for a slightly larger building, we have decided to add two interior posts to support a more traditional roof and allow for an increase in the overall space. We also thought this would streamline construction and make it a little easier, which I decided would be a good thing after waiting so long to get back into the build. We'll also be using some custom fabricated steel fixings that we will be making to form a solid join between the upright posts and the roof. These should provide a heavy duty connection between those components of the build. There will be a large exterior deck constructed on the north side of the house to be used as an outdoor living area. Though we will be designing this in a later stage in the project. These electric chainsaws are pretty nifty. They're great. Just cutting up some pegs that we're going to mark out the footprint of the cabin with. Just going to be a rough layout for now just so we can check out the position and the aspect. Okay. So we've pegged out a rough footprint, a footprint of the eaves, which is essentially the size of the roof. So the actual cabin's gonna be a bit smaller, a meter in from these pegs. What was some of our thinking regarding the aspect? Well, I think this is our spot town. Mm -hmm. the, um... Yeah, this is the extremities of the building. It's the gutter line, I suppose you'd say. Yep. And if we get the centre line through here, which is basically facing almost due north, um, which down here so in the southern that hemisphere is. Tree in the middle there is pretty much north for us. Yeah. And we've got the wide eaves, so the building will be shaded when the sun's high mm -hmm. in summer, but when the sun goes in the lower part of the sky in winter, it might let a little sun in. Yep. Um, remembering that it's an octagon on either end. Yep. And we want some sort of provision to build a deck out off it. Yeah, this is where the deck is going. So as the ground falls away. It's going to face sort of north, northeast and go down this hill a bit. And after we clear out that shrubby stuff, we'll get a good view of the valley back there. The mountains. So yeah, the basic design of the building is that it's going to have large round posts, the same same number of posts as these pegs essentially, in a stretched out octagon, and then two centre posts in the middle to help hold up the roof and make it easier to build. And then there's going to be eaves hanging over the edge and a deck out towards that way. 
face in the mountains. And we've decided we've got to do a bit more earth moving down that end to build it up a bit. Remove that fallen tree and flatten out the place a bit. Just make sure the water runs off. But that's a pretty good aspect. Yeah, I think it'd be nice, don't it? It's got a good feel already. It does, it's nice down here, it's very homely already. I'm going to clear that stuff out soon so we can see the view while we're building the next few months or years or however long it's going to take. Decades. Generational. Yep, generational. Right here guys, going to leave the video there um, for now. I'm looking forward to this build, it should be pretty good. We've got the we've got the plans happening, we've got it marked out, um, we've got to do a bit more clearing and stuff. There's heaps of that to do over the next few weeks, but I'll be filming to see how it goes. So yeah, excited about it all and hope you'll follow along with us. See you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.